A narrative that I see coming from a lot of right-wing pundits, especially over these past few years, is the notion that the only way to find true happiness is to raise a biological family, you know, whether it's a traditional family or a nuclear family. And sure, that's one way to achieve happiness. But if you let these people convince you that it's the only way, it can be extremely depressing. And just because I was surrounding myself with this stuff for so long, I was letting their messaging make me depressed. Now, people can say, oh, nothing I say can make you feel anything. Well, there, there's some truth to that. I, I let them make me depressed. But still, it's, it's the messaging that's, that's just false messaging. You know, it just wasn't in the cards for some people to create a biological family. If you let their messaging get to you, it can get very depressing. Again, if you let them convince you of these things. I've listened to right-wing pundits spew this kind of stuff for at least a couple years now. I mean, you can see it in some of my videos. It's, it's pretty obvious that I've been listening to people on the right. I try to listen to people on the left, but, you know, I, I, needed, I, I needed my fill of, of, of the right, and I, I feel like I've gotten that for a little while now, you know? And out of all this time of watching their viewpoints... It's just clear that they make no exceptions in these areas. They're not necessarily trying to take away anyone's rights, although there are some that do, but most of them simply don't want those who fall under the LGBT umbrella to be happy. Or, more accurately, they genuinely don't think it's possible for LGBT people to be happy in the same way or as much as people raising traditional or nuclear families. I'm tired of listening to these people. They're really depressing. I've truly tried giving their viewpoints a chance, but it always leads back to the same place, where they want to dictate how people find their happiness. People should feel free to find their happiness wherever they want, wherever they can, as long as they're not hurting anyone else. If you think that the only people that can truly find happiness are those raising a traditional or nuclear family, have your beliefs. You're free to your beliefs. But there's no reason for you to spread that kind of negativity to people who you know are not going to raise a traditional family or follow your traditions. There's nothing positive about that kind of messaging, no matter how you word it. It's closed-minded and judgmental. And yes, I said closed-minded. If you can't be open to the notion that different people can find their happiness in different places, and that LGBT people should have the opportunities to find happiness just like anyone else, then it'd be hard for you to claim that you're open-minded. And you're certainly not pro-freedom. Just saying.